No. I'm a rocket. I'm a rocket now. <laughs> I'm killing Oh something. my. <laughs> but while we wait for that later on, let's focus on the here and now because Fuyuhiku triumphing over Junanago has got another of the French MVPs to contend with because it's Noka in this first to five you must fight. Let's launch right into it as Noka immediately finding that first hit with a Goku Black. Towards the corner we go. As we were discussing in the interlude, that Goku Black, quite a passion pick, but I do think does definitely have some strengths. His beam extensions, especially off the command grab as well, a huge plus for the character, in my opinion. Yeah, and uh, I think the character has been in such a bad place for such a long time that anytime you give him a little thing, it feels like everyone that wants to play him like really wants to hype up this character a lot. I still don't think he's like at a place where he's going to outshine a lot of the other top tiers. Uh, I mean, and we talked about tier lists uh, early in the show and about like how wildly different a lot of tier lists are at this point. I don't see anyone placing Goku Black up there. I, I certainly yet, wouldn't put him like anywhere near the top five. Absolutely not. But I do yeah. think he's definitely in the viable category. That's for sure now. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. there's another character who's definitely seen some huge upgrades. This uh, patch, I thought Gohan coming in here. Is Noka going to spend that cash? You can spend it on getting level two. And then in comes Goku Black once more. This is definitely looking a lot more rough for Fuyuhiku than that first game. As we said, Goku, it's a level up when you get at the first five. And maybe the difficulty right now is just tuned a little bit too high. Sir, but uh, still working on a perfect so far as Noka. And it's been nothing but Goku Black. It's been nothing but Goku Black. Up we go, back down. Dragon Rush, finish that combo, and now you're one touch away. Oh, bring in the Beerus, bring in the Gohan, and reset, Sparking oh, Beta! <laughs> Golden Letters? Beerus. Come on, Noka. You're teasing us with the Sparking Life region here, Noka! Oh, oh, Golden Letters to start the set. Noka, what a, what a beginning. Oh my god, welcome to the real leagues, said Noka. Welcome to the real leagues, man. You made it through ZBK? You think you're good? You think you're hot shit? Now you beat Stu go. welcome to the real leagues. <laughs> I mean, people call loser's bracket the shark tank. Nope, we're going to the next stage, the wonder brackets, the shark tank. Evidently, Fuyuhiku off to another rough start as well, because that's another cross-up opening that Noka's won. I feel like that specific movement that he's doing, it does feel like sort of counterplay and Fuyuhiko's round star options here. We already get pushed to the corner. An early spark into the back dash, but he gets caught by the sheer range of Goku Black's 2H. He just can't escape. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're side switching mid air combos, okay. <laughs> that was beautiful. Uh, but immediately that's one character down. Yeah, no room to breathe. The sparking timer has also been burned to a crisp. No longer available. GG Goku coming in. But so far, no character making a dent in Noka's game plan. Catching the reverse Kamehameha just as it finishes. Noka is a man on a mission right now. That mix. The cross up the low. Everything was a possibility. GG Goku in the corner. No level three here, chooses the sliding knockdown mix. Six and block. Uh oh. A little stagger, a little delay. That was all it took. I didn't see any counter there, so I don't know what caught him there. Maybe trying to jump out. He didn't press a button for sure. But yeah, call you jump out. Oh, no perfect. Not this time. This is an improvement already. And you know, Uyu Hiku, like you said. Went 0-2 in a lot of CBKs until, finally, Fuyuhiku won. So this is a person that knows how to slowly improve. And right now, not only saying this is not a perfect, I'm taking a character. This is the slow improvement that this player is going to be known for. That's the story I'm weaving for this set. <laughs> Adaptation is going to be a lot more possible in a first of five, but Fuyuhiko still got a mountain to climb. Gets caught by the instant transmission. Level 3 comes out from Noka. And unfortunately, with how long this has been taking, Beerus's blue life has all but regenerated to the full in the background. Noka comes in with the EX. Oh, not enough range. That's going to be it, I'm pretty sure. Just get the extension here into the supers. And Noka sends Fuyuhiko out once again. Not a perfect, for sure, as you said, Globku. But... 
Still, except for that dying ember where that level 3 came out, not much to be said yet so far. I can't believe that DP mid. I can't believe that DP was out of range. Must have been hella close. Unfortunate. Take it off. And here we go again. Fuyuhiku now getting the first hit, actually. Keeps improving, you know. Better than the last game. That's all it takes. That's all it takes. Better than the last game. To be fair, the first two games, it was completely dominant in terms of movement for Noka in those round starts uh, with the movement. So the first hit is huge here. Still in the corner, though. Going to have to hold a six orb. Oki. Fuyuhiku does hold on for dear life, though, and sparks out. Does not want to take any chances. Doesn't get caught by the two-way Jiva. But the cross off into the 5L is still more than enough. I feel like Fuyuhiku just not ready to react to Noka's explosive movement. Oh, 2H there. Let's take a bite at Tien as well. Oh. No! Not like this! Fuyuhiku stays alive. Good block. Fuyuhiku's been showing some weakness to cross ups and a little bit to some staggers here and there. But the high-low defense has been really solid so far. Ooh, reflect and then no, no, no. I heard the counter. You can't press buttons. And no reflect and then assist. But that doesn't mean it's your turn. Level up on it. Don't go on as well. The man becoming a real character while Goku Black comes in and says, Nah, I got this. Here comes our level three. Towards the corner we go once again. EX into transmission. Nice block. Who you with a desperate mash? That's not going to connect. This. We've seen this. Gets out of the corner. Oh my god, he doesn't have a setup ready this time. Ryuhiku, last set, got out of the corner with that level 3 spirit bomb and was ready to convert into a mix up situation. But this time, it didn't seem like it was ready. Maybe oh, missing the Genesis there, right? Very true. The CSS being there because of its tracking and the fact it has faster start up this patch might be a bit of a key link. Tien, though, suffering a lot so far in this set, and Noka putting the suffering on even more. Catches him with the overhead, and both assists are regenerating. He's gonna try and go for the kill here. Three bars already built. This should be enough as long as he doesn't drop it. Noka is feeling optimal. Goes for the Dragon Rush, mm -hmm. sends him down into the Supers, and it is 3 0 mm -hmm. to Noka in yet another convincing game. Back to back. The quickest three games I've seen I wanted in a hot minute, Globku. Yeah, the first one was definitely a quick one. The other two also on the faster side, so I'm inclined to agree. Yeah, the fastest three games we've seen in a in a while. But uh, we've seen we're seeing uh, consistent improvement. I feel from Fuyuhiku uh, uh, in the first game. You know, taking a character I think was a big confidence boost uh, to start the third game with with having neutral superiority. I mean, the the, the round start, like you said, was such a big deal for Noka and uh, to establish that early dominance and getting the upper hand immediately. And for you, he could deny that from Noka in game three. So let's see how this game four starts and we see a character switch. It, <laughs> I mean, he gets the Mardok out and that immediately gets snuffed by a jab. Noka knew exactly what was gonna happen. Oh my God. Unbelievable that Noka still just immediately adapts and says no, no matter what. Two bars already built, almost dead is the worst part. For you, Hiko, he gets caught by the Dragon Rush as well. Globku, we said at the start of the stream, for you, Hiko might play Bardock in the first of three. We can't wait to see that. He brings him out in the first of five, doesn't even get the play. This is torture good, for the poor man. <laughs> Noka puts his hand to his forehead, Goku Black style, and says, This was your counter pick, Filthy Mingen. <laughs> This is what you had in store for me. What's that teleport <laughs> behind you? Play. Nothing personal. Oh, <laughs> uh, we did see some uh, new Goku Black tech there. I mean, mixed up the Bardock with uh, instant transmission, staying grounded and going for a low. Uh, other than that, just really good optimization here and uh, some supers to finish off the Gogeta. And in comes the GT Goku. And is this the first movie all over again? Is this the first game? We've reached the point in the movie timeline where the movie franchise oh. needs to get a hard reboot, but it has to follow the same ending somehow, because could we be on for another perfect? Four and a half bars already built, and down we go. Level three to put the pressure on extra for Fuyuhiku. He does still have Spark, but it got baited in the first one as well. Oh, oh no. He's actually going to do it. He's going to do it. He's got the assist. He's going to build the meter. He has enough now. Just don't drop it. And there oh. it is. Two perfects in one set, Noka.
playing out of his mind right now. Two perfect. In a first to five. Perfect. Yes. In a first to five, not even a first to seven. It's looking and long for, for context, me. the last time someone scored a perfect in a first to seven, in my memory, was Sehan versus Miami, where Miami got a perfect on Sehan, and that match was over two months ago now, I'm pretty sure. So to see two in one set? Ridiculous! Encyclopedia. The Encyclopedia. Uh, it's insane. Oh, boy, that's a crazy memory. But here we go. Back to the TN. Back to the C assist. Bardock didn't even get to play. He, di he didn't get to play. And we see... Is that a, a switch in the order, too? That actually is your right. Or is GT Goku usually on the anchor position, right? You are correct. Now, maybe a bit more faith in Gogeta, which I think is interesting. Um, maybe relying on the Larrier, for example, just, you know, the pure barrier bomb with uh, ignorant moves. But either way, you gotta find a hit in first, because Noka's still controlling the pace. Towards the corner we go, four bars already built, and he does have an assist. I hit a save, but I think Tien's actually dead here. Yeah, it might be this level one deals uh, slightly more damage, so we're gonna optimize it like that. Into reset attempt. Okay, didn't believe in the kill. I don't know. I think he might be dead with a level two. Yeah, I felt so as well. I'm honestly not sure. You know what? Noka, it's still fine. He's still controlling it. Fuyu Hiko gets an assist tag on two characters, but no confirm. Unfortunate. Grounded beam, though, huge for Fuyu. He can't get the assist extension. When you're down in a set like this, you can't afford that. It's a happy birthday. Stop, Noka, stop! Down goes the TN. Noka sparking immediately, and the characters weren't even super close together. I mean, it was close to dropping all the way through, but Noka always believed. Great spark, great conversion. TN goes down. Did the level one miss? No, he did not. Boom, boom. Down GT Goku. And I mean, for you, here's the anchor you asked for. You put Gogeta last for a reason. Let's see it. Gonna have to make a miracle happen here through you. Six bars already filled. That's a nice way to start things off. The auto combo does connect. He will not be able to make that seven bars, but can spend the three here to get some damage and some crucial Oki. But Noka has been relatively unfazed on defense so far. 2M does connect, but no additional pressure. 2H, but no follow up. That's so unfortunate for him right now, Globku, because I don't really think he's gonna get many more chances. Oh, one super would have done it. Unfortunate, that's not gonna counter a super. Nope. That doesn't counter as super. Gogeta showed him the chest, said, yo, hit me right here. And Goku Black said, hold up. Let me take you up on that. Five. Oh. Roll the clip. Roll the music. It's time for the vibe. Yeah, I mean, we all we all know what happens here, chat. This is um 